Time now for our weapon of the week, folks, and it's another innovation from the people at the Air Force Research Lab. Meet the Paladin Multi-Mission Unmanned Aircraft System, essentially a drone interceptor. While there are all kinds of drones with all kinds of missions, the Paladin is still pretty unique. It's like Dalton from the 80s classic Roadhouse, except the Paladin is the bouncer of drones. I want you to be nice until it's time to not be nice. This hex rotor watchdog is what the Air Force wants to make sure their manned aircraft systems don't run into any unexpected bogeys, especially in areas with large populations living around the base. Think Nellis Air Force Base in Las Vegas or Langley Air Force Base in Virginia. We're not going after anything big, and generally everything's either commercial or it's ho assembled by hobbyists, you know, operating, uh, you know, in, in the national airspace. Described as a fully autonomous wingman, the Paladin comes equipped with a UAS detector and a loudspeaker for those occasions where a verbal warning will work. But it also has a little something-something when needed, a Benelli M4 shotgun. So the Paladin's pilot has a distinct advantage over stubborn intruders. It's a net round that's very safe. And so employed in the air, it only has an effective range of about 20 meters. The system isn't just gonna go out and shoot down a drone and it falls wherever. The system will go out, follow an aircraft, identify what it is. We'll try to mitigate in other ways, get over an area where there's no people below it. And then if we have to engage, we can engage in those safe areas where if it drops to the ground, it's not gonna hurt anybody. As for when the Paladin will be put to work on Air Force bases around the U.S., the AFRL says it's in late-stage development right now and will be going through an operational assessment during fiscal year 2025. After that, plans for delivery and implementation will be made.